The Cayman Islands are a well-known Caribbean vacation destination. And while you'll find plenty of culture on land, it's a whole other world when you dive into the ocean. Located in the Caribbean Sea, the coral reefs that surround the Cayman Islands attract an amazing variety of fish. Even the coral, which is made up of tiny living organisms called polyps, are wonderful to look at. The coral provides food and protection for many small fish. It's an ideal habitat for them. All of these wonderful images are provided by Jason Washington, a professional scuba diver and photographer. I started diving as a kid back in the States. I moved here permanently 15 years ago to pursue my dream of becoming an underwater dive instructor and videographer. The thing I like most about shooting underwater video here is the general sense of discovery and freedom, or seeing something new for the first time. Watching schooling blue tangs grazing on the reef, or bicolor damselfish defending their coral home makes for an exciting day at work. It's exciting, all right. How would you like to come across this critter? It's a moray eel, and although it resembles a snake, it's really a fish. It doesn't have the pectoral fins you usually see on most fish. Instead, it has a long tail fin, which it uses to slither around. Now here's an interesting fish. It has the markings of a large eye near its tail. This is designed to confuse potential predators. It's called a four-eye butterfly fish. This wide-bodied creature is called a trunk fish. Its fins are quite small, so it moves very slowly. One way it finds food is by blowing on the ocean floor which uncovers tiny organisms it can eat. One reason the Cayman Islands are considered a top destination for scuba divers is that they are located on a mountain range. So underneath, you'll find craggy coves, rocky ridges, and sheer cliffs. In some areas, it drops off for thousands of feet. Just look at this dense school of sardines. And nearby is the impressive Atlantic tarpon, also known as the Silver King. The tarpon is one of several large carnivorous fish that Jason encounters. Here comes the barracuda, which has a distinct elongated body. Known as the tiger of the sea, the barracuda is also a formidable hunter. And larger yet is the reef shark. One of the more difficult critters for me to capture underwater would be our Caribbean reef shark. A common misconception is that reef sharks are aggressive animals. In actuality, it's a very timid and reclusive creature, oftentimes swimming away from divers, making it difficult to capture on video underwater. From one extreme to the other, one of the smaller creatures Jason finds is the seahorse. Unlike other fish, it sits upright and uses its prehensile tail to grab onto seaweed. In order to move around, its tiny dorsal fin flutters rapidly, like that of a hummingbird. You can spend a lifetime under the sea and still discover something new every day. Here's a colorful triggerfish. It has a reputation for biting divers who come near their nests. And this is a parrotfish. You can see how it got its name. <laughs> Just look at that beak. It's no wonder that divers come from all over to explore this enchanted land of tropical fish, colorful corals, and hidden coves. Thanks, Jason, for the wonderful tour. When we return, Vultures play an important role in the African ecosystem. <laughs> 